Welcome to Nili Audiobook. This is Nii's enthusiasm in the books for those who have always followed. All content in this book is purely in the experience and knowledge that she learned and worked on to achieve her accomplishment. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. Volume 6. Single or Married Author Nili is a makeup artist. Only after becoming a mom did she realize that her purpose in life was not only for herself but also for her daughter. She started her first business when she was only 18 before settling in Singapore. She was also a professional makeup artist for many brands such as Universal Studio Singapore, Chanel, Shein. He was born into a broken family. Since the age of two, she had grown up without any emotional support or care from her own parents. Due to school violence and discrimination, she was way more mature than other kids at the same age. In fact, this tough woman has never let financial problems or degrees stop her on the journey to success. Getting married and settling Singapore has greatly changed her mindset and personality. After two years of being a mother and getting over her divorce, she started to invest more in herself. Now, she is an investor, a life coach, and a real leader. More than that, she always spends her time helping the young force and building Nile Foundation to help disadvantaged kids in Vietnam. Publishing supporters Graphic designer Thanh Tâm Artist Lê Đình Trường Editor Lâm Tú Hân Translator Vân Ngô Prologue Having to make the decision between living a single life or getting married is not just a problem. There are many other young people who are also pondering the same question because nowadays not everyone is thinking about getting married. They are harassed by their relatives into getting married which makes them feel uncomfortable and wonder, am I ready to get married? Is marriage necessary for a person's success? Why don't I want to get married? Until when do I have to be single? Why is it necessary to get married? If you are struggling answering these tough questions, then this book is for you. Why should you be single? We are living in a society where the previous generation did not even dream such rapid development of society was possible. Nowadays, our needs are not simply limited to eating, drinking, sleeping, resting, and creating babies anymore. We want to travel, explore the world, see if there's anything else out there to learn. We also have the need to be heard and seen by others, recognizing your success in terms of our career. That's why more and more of us are deciding to live on our own. Our main goal is not to find an answer to the question, who am I? And to continue learning what we really want. We want to explore the world which is now different from our parents' generation. Maybe we are also one of those young people, the ones who wake up every day but still don't know who am I? What do I exist in this world for? What is my real talent? Where is my passion for life? What is the core value that I can devote to this life? So, as long as you are struggling to find these personal answers and are still confused, then you are free to decide your own life and remain single until you are ready and have an answer to all those questions. Is it really important to answer those personal questions? The answer is yes. It is more important than getting a college degree or pleasing your parents. Think again, are your parents putting their dreams on you? The reason why they did not fulfill their wish and are instead putting that dream onto you is because in their youth, they do not dare to make efforts or raise their voice to have freedom 
and independence in thoughts, and to find their own life. They let the previous generations to tell them what to do. Having to get married, having children is called happiness. That thinking is not completely wrong, but in the current generation, it is no longer a sufficient and appropriate mindset. As it's the time when you have the right to speak for yourself. You are free to choose if you want to be free and single, to be given priority to find out who you are. It is important to find and understand that in every decision, you are the one who needs to be happy first. If you do not find own happiness before entering marriage life, you are going to follow the first steps of many people who have gone before you. Why is the divorce rate in the world so high? Have you ever asked why there are so many around you who are married but feel like they are living in hell? Why is marriage life so different from what is portrayed in the movies? That is the result of only marrying according to the family wishes and society pressure, instead of putting the happiness as a priority. Remember, in this world, there is no right or wrong, only choices and outcomes. Everyone's choices are different, but they are all worthy of respect. So we do not judge or condemn, but only respect what they choose. You too. You also have to respect yourself and be serious about making yourself happy before thinking about getting married. How long is enough to be single? If you are 25, 30 years old and still not married, it is a sign of failure. We are so used to thinking that we need to have a fixed age to get married. Is it mindset really serving our lives? Or is it just making us feel more stressed and tired every day? Before asking yourself how long is long enough to be single, practice ignoring meaningless words, ungrateful and insensitive questions. Remember, when the last time was that you were really interested in someone's answer, let your thoughts begin to return to your personal problems. Likewise, with your loved ones or friends around you, begin to accept that they have their lives and you have yours. Be confident that you can be happily single, that you have the right to go and find out what makes you happy with or without a partner. Find happiness anywhere. It can be playing sports, traveling, or even just learning something new. Marriage is where two happy individuals meet and share so that happiness can be doubled. Marriage is not a place for you to make someone happy or find happiness from other half. The responsibility for making each individual happy is their own. It means that in this world, the only person who can make you happy is yourself. So feel free to stay single until you feel real ready. What does marriage certificate mean? Probably only a few people know that the marriage certificate was created to protect the weak woman in the past. That's right. In the old society, if men were allowed to go around and create babies, you can imagine how chaotic that society would have been. In the old society, people only care about eating, drinking, sleeping, resting, and creating babies. It's hard to ask for more than that because in the past, society was still too poor. They can only think ensuring their own survival. At that time, laws were enacted to help reduce crime in society. The marriage certificate was also born with the purpose of protecting women. Because when they are in the process of giving birth, they and the newborns need care and protection from their men. 
If you look really closely at the problem, you will know that the marriage certificate has a lot of regulations enacted by law to prevent men and women from being free. Specifically, after there is a decision to get married from both sides, the life will be in the framework of the marriage law. The marriage certificate is necessary for those who lack the knowledge to protect their own rights from the risk of building a family with their own at the half. For example, if someone is thinking about cheat, they will have to reconsider and think carefully about their behavior and the price they must pay for the law. The marriage paper make them think more about their decision. If they can accept that price, they will act. The divorce, the children born into the family will be protected by law to avoid the situation where they grow up with unknown parents or are neglected. Why should you get married? There exists a belief in this world that most don't think about. Belief system. The system built from the people around you and your living environment. Remember that everyone's environment is different, including yours and your partner's. Example, your family is not religious and you are dating someone who is religious and vegetarian, which means that your belief system and that of your partner about life are very different. The compatibility between the two is completely absent. You have to explain to your date why you are not a vegetarian, selling them your subconscious belief about life for the past few decades. And vice versa, they do the same thing in the process of dating you. They also sell you their belief system that being vegetarian and religious is right. People without knowledge of belief systems will call this incompatibility, disagreement, incomprehension. But in fact, what is at play here are different belief systems. This also applies to marriage. The funny thing is that when you ask people why they get married, you get a lot of different answers. Let's just talk about the people usually causes to you, your parents. The reason your parents got married largely stems from the belief system inherited from your grandparents, but your grandparents' belief system came from the old society. In the old society, getting married was something everyone had to do. Your grandparents believed and followed, which led to your parents believing and following. From there, your parents saw that what they did was right, and this formed a belief system over time. Just like that, you also grew up inheriting that belief system from your parents in a loop. When you don't follow that process, but go back to your parents and ask why people must get married, they will likely be unable to give you an answer that satisfies your curiosity. That is why you see more and more young people who are against getting married. Now is the time to change the questions you ask yourself. Instead of wondering, why do you have to get married? Ask instead. Do you actually want to get married? Are you ready to find your life partner and grow with them until old age? Are you ready to accept the fact that people can will change and even if you are married and your partner changes, will you still love that person? Are you ready to take care of your life partner and children? How much finance is enough to get married? Who will take care of the baby and who will earn an income? What if you don't want to have a baby after getting married? Is that right or wrong? Should you have a baby or not? What is wrong if you're not ready to get married? Would it be wrong if you live single for a little longer? 
if you have been happily single for some time and you realize you don't need to be married to be happy, are you okay with that? So many questions you should ask yourself and find the answers. You are allowed to be curious. You are free to choose. You came into this world to make only one person happy, yourself. It is also about taking time for yourself to grow and become confident, fulfilled, and happy. Only then will you attract a life partner the way you want him or her. So. Get married only when you are really ready and have answered most of the questions in life that you are still wondering about every day. When should you get married? The best time to get married is when you have answered most of the questions you are looking for as an adult. When you feel enough and ready to take on responsibility for a small family of your own, then you should get married. Not only are you responsible for taking care of the happiness of your little home, you are also responsible for whether the marriage succeed or fail, and you are ready to accept it in the most mutual way. Be clear about the law after divorce and the pros and cons when you sign the marriage papers. Reach an agreement with your partner about whether or not you both want children. Because getting married does not mean that you have to have children. Talk about the hard stuff. What if one of you does not have the ability to have children? Will you still love and accept the other as they were born? Talk about what can go wrong and listen to your thoughts and theirs. If possible, try to live with each other before getting married to see if you are compatible in the long term. How old is mature enough to get married? If you are 19 years old or younger, think twice about getting married because science has proven that the brain of a person under 25 is still not fulfilled mature. Remember, you were born to experience life, so there is no need to rush. If you are clearly aware that getting married has positive and negative endings. Yet are willing to accept both, then you are ready to get married. Thank you, everyone, for listening. See you all in the next episode. Welcome to Newly Audio Book. This is Nee's enthusiasm in the books for those who have always followed. All content in this book is purely the experience and knowledge that she learned and worked on to achieve her accomplishment. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. Volume 5, High Paying Easy Job Author Nile is a makeup artist. Only after becoming a mom did she realize that her purpose in life was not only for herself but also for her daughter. She started her first business when she was only 18 before settling in Singapore. She was also a professional makeup artist for many brands such as Universal Stereo Singapore, Chanel, Shein. He was born into a broken family since the age of two. She had grown up without any emotional support or care from her own parents. Due to school violence and discrimination, she was way more mature than other kids at the same age. In fact, this tough woman has never let financial problems or degrees stop her on her journey to success. Getting married and settling in Singapore has greatly changed her mindset and personality. After two years of being a mother and getting over her divorce, she started to invest more in herself. Now, she is an investor, a life coach, and a real leader. More than that, she always spends her time helping the young folks and building a new foundation to help disadvantaged kids in Vietnam. Publishing supporters, graphic designer, Thanh Tâm, artist, Lê Đình Trường, Editor Lâm Tú Hân Translator Vân Ngô 
prologue. Yi has been an independent person since she was only a 15 years old girl. She has never attended university or had a degree. Also, she comes from a genuine poor family, from a person having nothing in my hands at the beginning. She has achieved a successful career in Singapore and found the truth of her life. Through many ups and downs in life, Yi knows that a high-paying easy job is always a dream of many people. Yi also used to dream, used to find a recipe for a high-paying easy job that the society advertises at you are right now. That's why Yi wants to share with you this topic through the fifth book, coming to this month's book. You no longer expect too much, yet may be disappointed when you are about to discover the truth behind a high-paying easy job. You know the secret for a successful person to have a high-paying easy job. You are shown in detail how to get a high-paying easy job, a dream that the amount of people out there want to achieve. Why do people dream of high-paying easy jobs? According to genetics, humans always wanted to enjoy achievement, but they do not like to work for that achievement. Ironically, the human body was born to move. The truth is that you have to exercise and do physical work for your body to release the happiness hormone, making you want to live and dedicate more. In other words, your body is going against your inner pleasure, pleasure to enjoy, a destructive dynamic for humanity itself. For easy understanding, let's see the examples below. Example 1. You really want to have a beautiful and fit body. It means that inside your mind, subconscious, want to enjoy one thing, to have a beautiful body in shape. To get that goal, you know very well that you have to exercise and eat right, but you choose to avoid that truth by looking for a faster way to own a beautiful body without having to exercise. Specifically, you choose to sit and watch movies, eat young food, then take weight loss pills, believe online advertisements, and deceive yourself that those pills really help you have a beautiful body for a short period of time. Example 2. You want to make a lot of money. You want to become a manager, a boss, but you don't want to work 15 to 16 hours, even 17 to 18 hours a day. You cannot accept the fact that you have to invest a lot of time to work every day to become rich and success. Instead, you look for short-term enrichment courses or find excuses to blame the rich for being cruel and greedy. Your body is once again harming you, deceiving yourself. You should remember, your body has a lot of things that can prevent you from getting rich and active. Another unfortunate fact is that the more evidence we look for to prove that a high-paying easy job exists, we only get disappointed most of the time because it doesn't exist. Because almost everyone around you is working hard for it without seeing a way out. In short, genetics is the root cause of everything. Only when you accept human genetic traits will you accept that high-paying easy jobs rarely exist. After reading this book so far, many of you will probably want to drop. But this is a time when the author analyzes each step more clearly to help you find a high-paying easy job that is suitable for each individual. Once again, the author of this book is a realistic person. The author does not write the book to form a rosy picture for you or to give you hope that there is a high-paying easy job. But if you are really determined to get a high-paying easy job, it is not impossible. Start answering each of the questions below to get closer to your dream of having a high-paying easy job. 
five questions to achieve high paying easy jobs. Number one, how many hours a day you need to work for high paying easy jobs? Don't think having a high paying easy job is 100% doing nothing. That is stupid. For easy understanding, see the example below. Example one, a hairdresser works six hours a day, but he only works for VIP guests, three guests per day. The rest of his time, he stays with his family, exercising, reading, and study. Every client he does here can make him earn $500. So every day he earns $1,500. That means $500 for three guests. Every month, he earns $45,000, means $1,500 multiple 30 days, averaging 30 days per month. And $540,000, means $45,000 multiple 12 months per year. For this professional hairdresser, he only works for VIP guests. This is what he calls a high-paying EV job because other people work 10 hours a day. He only works 6 hours. Example 2 An investment and business consultant wants to work 3 hours a day. The rest of the time, he wants to travel, play golf, spend time with his children, and he also loves to go fishing. He consults clients for $1,500 per hour. On average, he consults about 4 clients per week. That means every week he earns $6,000. That means $1,500 for 4 clients. Every month he earns $24,000. That means $6,000 for 4 weeks. Every year he earns $288,000, that means $24,000 per multiple 12 months. For this business and investment consultant, this is a high paying EV job that he dreams of. Why are these two examples above important? In fact, they are high paying EV jobs. However, it is easy to say but not easy to do. To achieve that dream, two people in the example above must have the skills and experience for clients or organizations decide to invest in them. Similarly, hourly attorney fee can be high or low depending on the thickness of the background or the number of cases worn by attorney. Doctors are paid high or low depending on how many patients the doctor has operated successful treating. Pilots are paid to become captains high or low depending on the experience or the number of flight hours they have done successfully. They all need time to improve their skills and master them in different professions. Now, it's your turn to answer by yourself these questions. What profession do you want to have? What is the highest hourly rate for a person in that profession? For you, how many hours a day do you want to work in that profession? You can choose to work 2 hours a day, but no one can stop you if you want to work 7 hours. The important thing is how many hours a day do you want to work for your desired high paying the job? One more example for you to understand better as the author wants you to be very clear about the first step. A real estate investor wants to work 4 hours a week. The rest of the time, she wants to take care of her dream, which is building a non-profit school for unfortunate children abandoned by their parents. She also wants to teach the young people what she has learned and set an example for her daughter. The average return on her 50 properties is $75,000, excluding expenses such as staff salaries or management fees. She brings in about $55,000 per month and 420 
thousands per year. That means fifty-five thousand dollars, multiple twelve months. For this real estate investor, this is called the high-paying job that she is looking for and can complete. Remember, for people who can call their own jobs high-paying jobs, it's all about creating a system and answering this first question. Accept that you cannot do everything. Humans have limits. You have limits just like everyone else. Your health and the time you have is only in 24 hours. Even the gift the universe gives you is limited. For example, when you were born and have the natural ability to draw beautiful pictures, it is a gift you have been given by the universe. Are you passionate about the talent you've been awarded with? How to turn it into a high-paying, easy job you dream of? Sit down and take the time to clearly answer this step one to start finding the answer. Five questions to achieve high-paying, easy jobs. Number two, what are your reasons, motivations to have high-paying, easy jobs? Remember that we are human. As humans, we are largely influenced by emotions 24 hours a day. The fact that the reason you find, which is big enough to pursue your dream of finding a high-paying easy job, is a motivation that keeps you get up early and stay up late every day. Helps remind you the reason why you started pursuing your dream when you wanted to give up. Many people consider this second step unnecessary, but it is extremely important. Maybe you are confused and do not understand why you need this high-paying easy job. Honestly, most people have this dream just because they want to spend more time for themselves and enjoy, spend time with family and take them on vacations to enjoy, take care of children to have good education. Having time to meet friends to chat, help the community and society, whatever your big motivations are, you have to face to them and write them down. Take a look at the examples in step one for clarity. The purpose of each individual's high-paying job is very clear. When you don't have a purpose, you don't know how to spend your extra time precisely. After finding a high-paying easy job, you're aiming for no motivation to pursue work every day. Only suffering can be the motivation to help you withstand the pressure on the way to pursue the dream. Whatever your motivation is, write down or draw a picture of it. Post it where you can see the most clearly to remind you why you want a high-paying easy job. Five questions to achieve high-paying easy jobs. Number three, when do you need to achieve that goal? It must be a reason that any job in the world has a deadline. Even learning in school has limit. You can't be in the first grade for 30 years, right? You can't learn to cope for 50 years without getting paid, right? Yes, you have to give yourself a deadline for success. Let's reuse the example above and make this point more clear. Example 1. A hairdresser wants to earn an income for just taking care of VIP guests. He needs one year to learn the hairdressing skill. The next two years, he works hard in day and night, learn more skills and improve skills from the guidance of seniors, find a mentor, and immerse himself in an environment that is full of superstar artists, follow and do it for free. Compared to those who has been apprenticed for a year and opened their own shop, he did not choose to follow that path. Question 2 was very clearly defined. He chooses to focus on a different audience. He does not tolerate or accept others to pay him less than he is seeking. 
he gave himself five years to achieve that dream of a high paying easy job. Example 2. A lawyer wants to achieve his dream salary, he spends three years attending law school. Then, instead of just accepting small clients or getting paid hourly, he continued to improve his skills by participating in the government's association of volunteer lawyers helping the poor who has no money. Still to pay attorneys, he also became an intern at top law firms. Instead of just using the knowledge he learned at school and making money, he decided to sacrifice his free time during the three years after graduation to build a resume by winning lawsuits to open his own law firm, only you. Of course, those three years he did not compromise nor spoil himself to follow the crowd like other law school students. He understand the great course and idea he's looking for, for in order to have some free time for himself. Example three, a real estate investor gives herself a year to achieve her dream of owning the first ten properties that take her out of work eight hours a day. She decides that. Outside working hours, she learns more skills, learns about the investment industry, and invests two years in her studies. When she starts applying it, she spends four hours a day just doing market research, go seeing houses, bidding, and finding business partners. On average, she has to visit about five to ten homes per day, which means nearly three. Hundred houses per month, compared to those who use their time after work to watch movies and watch comedy, she increases her knowledge of finance and real estate every day. She understands step two, her ideal, and her accepted to sacrifice three years to build that skill. It only took her another two to three years to reach the. 50 house milestone. At this point, you're probably frustrated because it doesn't seem like the high-paying easy job you're looking for. But this is a truth that you have to accept. Those who are enjoying the benefits of high-paying easy jobs have to go through a process of building a solid foundation and knowledge. Just because you can't see the process doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And if you want to get there, know that two or three years of delaying the things you want to enjoy is essential for you to get there. In all of the examples above, they all had fixed time frame for themselves on how long it took them to reach the milestone they wanted. They put their time and energy to do it. So it's your turn. Sit down and write down. When do you want to achieve your goal? The high paying the job. Five questions to achieve high paying the jobs. Number four. What are steps to maintain what you achieved? There has been many people who have achieved the milestones they have set to achieve, but have been stuck in the same place, not progressing because they are so laid back on your. The truth is that the society develops faster than you think, and that is something people have to face every day, whether you run away or not. It's something that happens every day. So, what is the way to maintain the lifestyle as well as the income from high-paying the jobs? Let me tell you how the elite succeed. The only secret that helps them stay prosperous is never stop learning and upgrading a skill. Yes, after they have achieved their dream income from a high salary, they always have a clear plan on how they will live the whole life with it. They learn more about how to invest that money to make more profit. They invest in themselves, find good teachers in their field, and continue to educate themselves and upgrade their skills. You only stop learning when you die. As long as you are breathing, you have to keep learning, because when you fall asleep on success, 
That's when you open it. Those around you who want to grow and be better than you are always ready to take the place you are enjoying. Customers, businesses, investors, and so on are always looking for people who are hardworking, enthusiastic, determined, fierce, with the dreams and loyally uphold the values you have brought to them. And of course, it has to be better. From the above analysis, begin your plan for preserving what you have created. Learn self-study skills, skills to find mentors, good teachers. Continue to spend time on upgrading skills. Start planning now. How much extra time and money will you invest per week, per month, per year in learning and upgrading yourself? Five questions to achieve high-paying the jobs. Number five. If you can't have what you want, do you continue to fight it or accept to live a normal life as others? Most people don't tell you this one fact as well as easily accept what Yi is about to say. The reason why not everyone achieves their dream of finding a high-paying job is that you have may work so hard but still fail. Success equal luck plus talent plus hard work. Plus timing, you have to accept the fact that you may have tried your best, but still can't get what you are desired. Then ask yourself: Are you okay with that? To achieve success, don't let your standards of success make you unhappy. Why do you need to understand this? On the way to find freedom and happiness, there are many people who lose themselves. They cannot accept the fact. That they don't get what they want. They aren't happy with other experience on the way to finding a high-paying easy job. We come to this world as a work on joining a prom. On the way finding yourself at that prom, sometimes there's a lot of anger, jealousy, which ascribes you to unrealistic standards of success. Please clarify the above question, but do not forget to enjoy the process with all the joy of happiness. By doing that way, when you don't get what you want, you don't blame yourself too much. Remember the time when you were three or five years old; those childhood games didn't make you money, but those memories still make you smile when you think about them, don't they? What important is. What you learn from those games, come back to reality. Seriously, plan for what you want, but also see it as a childhood game so that you can live a lighter life. Remember and don't forget, a value does not come from whether you can find a high paying the job, but in knowing who you are, what you want to do to make yourself happy. Whether you can find that high paying the job or not. You still have to be happy, respect, and love yourself as much as possible, so that when you make a mistake, you can do it again. When you fail, you still stand up and move on. Nor can society or family and friends make you forget who you are. Epilogue. This book can be complete thanks to the lessons and experiences of a millionaire. Who started up with two empty hands, summed up in her fighting high, easy paying job journey. You must take the steps outlined above to come up with the answers for the happiness, work, and life you're looking for. Even if the path you're about to take isn't one of a high paying easy job, please remember, any job makes society better. Any work has value. In contributing to the universe, as long as you exist and contribute, even from the smallest things, you are still a person worthy of respect. Finally, you want to thank you for being alive, for continuing your journey to find who you are, but not forgetting to dedicate your small efforts to humanity. High paying easy job. 
I pour my heart and soul into this book series for those who have always followed, supported, and joined with me on this top journey. All the content of this book is entirely my experiences and knowledge that I have learned in practice to obtain my achievement. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. Author Nhi Li. She is a young and successful investor at the age of 27. She always desires to bring back all the knowledge she learned abroad to help the young generation of Vietnam. She has succeeded in turning her experience and difficulties into the most precious lessons for young folks. After a lot of effort, she is very first life coach in Vietnam, helping to change thousands of lives, having a great influence on many young Vietnamese. Publishing supporters, graphic designer Thanh Tâm, artist Lê Đình Trường, editor Lâm Tú Hân, translator Vân Ngô. Thank you everyone for listening. See you all in the next episode.